Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing today, darling? Let's do your weekly tarot reading today for September. Can you believe it? We're already in September, Aries. My gosh. So I'm going to leave a link on the top right hand corner of your screen, Aries, for my monthly pick a card for September. If you want to check that out, check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, uh, Aries. If you enjoy this tarot reading, let me know how it resonates in the comments below. Let's start out with the back of the deck energy here for you, Aries, which is the sun card. All right. I The immediate thing I noticed with, uh, when I see this card for you, Aries, is like attention all right attentions maybe you, some of you have been pining for someone's attention maybe you are just craving attention you know to attention can help build a business attention on a situation attention on um a subject can bring some sense of enlightenment for you can bring some sense of abundance uh i see for you aries all right i feel like right now this is the path that you're leading on here of where it's just like the actions that you're doing the momentum that you have been putting into something right now aries is building up to the sun card you know the sun card is the best card in the tarot deck darling right you can't really get more fabulous than that with that sun energy all right i see for some of you uh aries this september is going to be a month of where you're going to feel a lot more youthful again maybe you've been weighed down by a lot of stress and anxiety you know bills or just being an adult darling all right you have the eight of swords here with the nine of wands so you felt like you had to be for a long time you've been in survival mode it feels like every single day aries you've had to like wake up and have like another thing to unpack another thing to heal from right and so i see this lets me know the struggle here for you that you have been going through right that nine of wands that's that wounded warrior that's your story right now aries of where it's just like you're standing strong in your conviction even during the days where you things have been feeling pretty low for you right with that eight of swords you are hopeful for a better future and that future is definitely coming for you uh aries i feel like there's like a lot of people that have disappointed you in the past aries i feel like you really thought there's going to be a lot more people that were on your side than you had to eventually realize and i feel like that really messed with your head i feel like for you a lot of feels apparently aries but i feel like for you how you even go about engaging with people are is different now some of you might even be in the workplace seven of wands here I feel like this sense for you where it's just like you have a you have like major trust issues like you went through this dark night of the soul you you're what was your issue here seven of swords here i mean really it feels like to me aries uh this sense of where it's like people were just pissing you off people really have disappointed you they've dropped the ball your support system wasn't your support system and you had to be your own savior here i feel like for some of you uh aries something in the workplace related maybe you felt disrespected or just disregarded by someone in the work environment here i feel like for others of you aries there's like this sense of betrayal someone like speaking like you would open up to people and then you would later on regret opening up to them aries because they ended up like using it in a way where like whether they were ending up spreading gossip about you afterwards whether you know it's this sense of where like you regret being vulnerable with them because then it gave it got them too comfortable with thinking that they truly understood you or that they knew you and they started taking you for granted or there is this sense of where i feel like you just regret certain people certain things that you've invested into uh aries definitely people but i do see for you here aries right with this nine of wands here this lets me know and i want to say that i'm proud of you aries all right i'm proud of you just as like a friend through the screen of course darling but the message that comes in when i see this immediately is the sense of like i'm proud of you so it's like either like a spiritual guide of yours or something that i feel like really wants to get this message across to aries of where it's just like they're proud of you for standing in your truth here they're proud of you for not backing down maybe it's been a struggle for you in the past aries where you wouldn't normally use your voice with certain people but i feel like that's different now i feel like for you you have started to really be more unapologetic which is what i like the most and i feel for you as you continue being more unapologetically you aries you're going to start attracting people like like attracting like right it's almost natural for you to be having to have certain things burst at the seams and no longer become undone aries in your life because i see you becoming more and more empowered 
and it's through that empowerment you're having to shed away at each of these things that have kept you down which for a lot of you Aries I really get this sense of like lack of support system but it's through this lack of support system that not only has given you further confidence in yourself but I do see if you're able to you know work on your trust issues eventually a relationship in whatever way platonic partnerships right friendships making your own family Aries I see this being very possible for you because you maintain your dignity because you stand in your truth here that's where the reward is that's why there's this message of being like I'm proud of you you know for standing in your truth here because it's for you standing in your truth Aries that then causes you to finally be in correct alignment for the correct soul connections here some of you might have mis have confused some of these people that really disappointed you and that's where a lot of the disappointment comes in I feel Aries is is that sense of where it's like certain people you thought were part of your soul tribe right and you're just like wait a minute like you are not what i thought you were initially right and that's the issue there that was the issue now that you're getting more comfortable with who you are aries you're just noticing you're just really up leveling here right eight of pentacles i see further advancement here for you aries specifically just with the people that you're around all right specifically with the people that you're around but I also want to be expressing to you, Aries, when I see this energy, let's take a moment to take this in here. When I see this energy here, I don't know why, Aries, but I, I see this and I'm just like, you know what? I, I, I feel like there's something like... <sighs> just pay attention to the connections you make in the coming days Aries because I feel as if there's some type of connection that will come forward to you and this might come in the shape of like a mentor or like a connection that helps you get into a better job or something like this Aries I don't know why but when I see this row here I'm just like you know I feel something is there all right I feel like it's something is there and I also get this sense here Aries it's oddly specific here but it's like you have been being you've been watched here like i feel like how you've been carrying yourself aries is being observed by those that you wouldn't normally that i don't think you would inherently just immediately think or noticing right and so i feel like that's part of the reason why certain connections are gonna you're gonna find yourself having your path aligned with certain connections here is because it's like there's something about how you stood in your truth aries there's something about how you maintained in your character that's going to shine through and that's what really attracts people because i feel like for you aries there's cer certain people that maybe misunderstood you maybe you 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 might have like a resting b face right and so people usually are just like oh i don't like aries da, 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 da. right they have that wrong impression of you but it's i get this sense here of where it's just like and they may not even be related to the situation of what you're standing in your truth and about aries but I think it just is the air energy that's carrying over. You have a different swagger about you, Aries. And with this confidence no, that you're no longer in your head, it, that's what attracts people. It's almost as if, Aries, you know how when people don't like uh, cats, cats always like grow, go to the people that they know don't like cats? That's what I feel like is happening for you, Aries, where it's just like you being turned off from just like people in general because of these disappointments you dealt with in the past like it's almost as if like this is the energy shift that was necessary for you because then it's like attracting all these people that like at the wrong you would think it would be at the wrong time aries but it's actually the perfect timing for you because it's like there's something different about you i don't know there's like this new swagger about you and then six of wands this is my public recognition all right public recognition you're definitely going to be getting approached here sometime in september for sure aries all right and so while i'm not telling you how you need to protect yourself or guard yourself because i understand you know we all have our trust issues and you may just not want to be social right you know my job is here just to let you know the energy that's available for you to claim and take action on if you want to it's not that you have to darling not my business right my life don't change but i do see like this strong sense of september for you aries making very solid connections here with people that are actually deserving of it again i feel like it's just this natural ant um response of where it's just like as you start feeling more empowered you know you start building yourself up you start shedding away the dead weight the dead skin and then higher vibrational connections come forward to you higher vibrational opportunities come forward to you i will say with this two of cups here eight of pentacles and the six of wands aries straight up there is this sense of where it's like 
a connection, a, a partnership could change your life there, right? This is like a sense, especially for those that we talked about at the beginning, Aries, for some of you that where it's like that popularity, that fame and what have you, right? That I got initially, this really enhances it where it's just like being seen by the right people that then help it's like that's the thing Aries. it's like you may not be seen by like thousands of people millions of people hundreds of thousands of people but the people that do see you those five views those are five extremely valuable views because i do feel like there is this some type of connection here that forms or begins sometime in September. And I really want to express the message that this doesn't have to be romance. I know a lot of people uh, kind of expect most any type of social reading to uh, be about romance, but I really don't put attach emotion to it. I just see human to human connection there. But I do see September for a month for you guys to be, yeah, page of pentacles, people extending out offers to you, uh, Aries. This is the time to really be putting yourself out there, darling, straight up. All right. Page of Pentacles, this is someone extending out offers to you, extending communication to you here. All right. I get job offers or different ways to cre uh, further your finances here uh aries but it is requiring you to start socializing more i feel all right if you've been going through some type of block recently because i do see with that five of wands in the back of the deck here some of you guys have been really struggling with like addressing some type of specific block right whether it's a financial block whether it's just like a block in relationships you haven't been able to manifest like good fulfilling relationships for a while all right i feel like it's necessary for you right now to really own this nine of wands energy right you know for example if you like goth things right but you don't ever go outside dressed in goth stuff you can't expect people who also like goth things to immediately be attracted to you because they don't know you like goth things all right so this is really that a message i want to be expressing to you aries where it's just like be more unapologetically yourself and putting yourself out there well yes i can understand the disappointment that certain people and the best of my ability of course obviously that people have had on you so you're just so turned off from connections it's more of a challenge for you to see how better how, what in what ways you can better express yourself to get in alignment with people that truly understand you for you and respect you for you right aries all right so your first uh moon set oracle set is the new moon in taurus uh taurus taurus <laughs> new moon in taurus prosperity lying ahead what was i saying aries this entire time like the financial part has been just like bleeding into this so beautifully aries like i really have enjoyed this for you guys september seems to be like a very prosperous month for you for the aries that choose to socialize right and so i always hear it all the time where it's just like oh velka i don't like talking to people you know it's like your girl join the club everyone doesn't like talking to people it's more so like what i feel like people mainly mean when they say they're introverts is like they're in they're an introvert around people that are not normally th that are not their energetic match because when you're around your good people when you're around your tribe you can hang out with them all the time right full moon in aries this is your moon uh aries this is your moon a fiery climax approaches and prosperity lies ahead with that climax all right september for you guys is really a month of where you like you continue compounding on the momentum that you've been uh, already putting in aries all right i see with this new wounded warrior here of where it's just like really standing strong in your conviction with whatever it is that you've been working on whether it's been certain projects whether it's been on working on yourself whether it's been working on your environment whatever it is uh aries it's compounding into something that's going to be extremely prosperous for you all right so please take this as a message where it's just like you, the efforts that you're doing right now are not wasted a time to give rather than take currently a time to give rather than take new moon and virgo <sighs> a time to give rather than take what does that even mean though <clears throat> a time to give rather than take giving more of yourself there Court card coming in afterwards, Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is the time to give more of yourself, Aries. More of yourself to people, all right? Don't respond. And I understand how counterintuitive it can feel sometimes, Aries. But it's like, don't respond to being disappointed by previous connections as a way of just like making it so it's impossible for any new connections to ever reach you, all right? It's time to give more of yourself, more of your personality rather than taking it away, taking more of your light away. And, you know, I'm being shown like it's like you're fueling like an empty vessel and you're just like 
Girl, I don't even know how that happened. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, that was just crazy. I'm going to have to look that up in the uh, when I'm editing this to see even what happened, because I'm not sure how all that chaos just happened. But I get the sense of like you like installing an empty vessel with like personality traits areas where you're just like, oh, I showed a little bit too much of myself. I showed too much of my uh, personality, my childhood, uh, you know, who I am without any filters. Right. You know, that who you are in the childlike sense, in the sense of where it's like, you know, a child doesn't think about the stereotypes. They don't think about uh, beauty standards or anything. So it's like you always end up regretting it, Aries, I feel when you're vulnerable, but you don't take away that light. You put more light to it you know is just take this as a sign that it's just like oh i need to continuously be more vulnerable challenging what it is i express to the world so that way i can find the, the right tribe of people find me right you have the new moon in cancer as well as the full moon in cancer let your fears dissolve and to relax right now aries let your fears dissolve around connections and relax all right they got you covered your spiritual team has you covered trust in them all right Oh, I guess you y'all are getting two cards, two more or four cards. Last quarter moon in Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. And first quarter moon in Leo, be humble. Ooh, this is calling some of you Aries out. All right, be humble in the sense of where it's like stop feeling like you have to put on a show or a facade to gain gain approval to other people. Reveal what needs to be seen, which is your true authentic self, Aries, because that's what people are going to be attracted to. Some of you need to just humble yourself and realize that it's just like you don't need to. To, like you don't need to like present in a certain type of way to be good perceived as good enough or what have you humble yourself Aries all right humble yourself anytime we talk about humbling though I always like I always get so much backfire backlash with people being like I don't need to humble myself da 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 whatever girl anyways uh Aries this is the reading that I have for you darling hopefully this resonated let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe and I'll connect to you later love you so much Aries bye darling